Hello everyone and welcome to Mobile Apps Academy. In this tutorial series, we will be diving into the development of a Turugi staff using Swift UI while following the clean architecture and the MVVM design pattern. Throughout this series, you will learn how to create a date view, how to implement a dynamic list view, and how to refactor the code to implement the clean architecture and the MVVM design pattern. We won't be learning or starting the clean architecture or MVVM right away. Our initial goal is to develop the app and its functionalities. Here is what the folder structure looks like before applying the clean architecture and MVVM design pattern. And after implementing these patterns, this is how the folder structure looks like. If you would like to access the source code for this project, be sure to subscribe to the channel, take a screenshot and send it to the email provided in the description. We will send you the source code. To begin, create an empty Swift UI project in Xcode. In this video, we will develop the upper portion of the header, which includes the name and month view. First, open your content view file and remove the default code. In Swift UI, we have three primary layout options. First is ZStack, which aligns child views along the Z axis. Second is VStack, which aligns the child views along the Y axis. And the last one is HStack, which aligns all the children's on the X axis. Since our app's layout is mostly organized along the Y axis, we will be using a VStack inside a ZStack. Let's start by adding a ZStack inside the body function of content view and then place a VStack inside this. We will add all the elements within this VStack. The screen is divided into two main parts, the date header and the task list. Let's create a new Swift file and name it as date header view. Similar to content view, we will use a ZStack with a VStack inside it. The top portion of the data view is using a hashtag to align the children's right and left. The individual elements within the hashtag are aligned using vStack. Here is how the view hierarchy looks. The hashtag contains two vStacks separated by a spacer to create a space between them. The first vStack holds two text views, one for name and one for caption. The second vStack contains a text view and a button. Let's take a look at the code. In the first vStack, we have two text views that we style using modifiers. The value of the second VStack is dynamic and changes based on the date. In the next part, we will dive into the date manager where we will handle all the date related functionalities. In the second VStack, we have a text view and a button. The text on the button and the button's click functionality are also part of the date manager, which we will explore in the next part. To organize the header body, let's move this code into a new view function. Then we will use this function inside the body. Perfect. That's it for this video. In the next part, we will explore the date manager. Until then, happy coding. Thanks for watching.